Hi, this is James McKenzie with virtualmacosx.com, and today we're going to be looking at a couple of uh, uh, processes when we're first setting up the environment and also how to uh, remote restart your environment. So let's begin by connecting to our test environment and going through the setup process. Uh, we'll use, we're going to be using, um, we're going to be using screen share. We have another video on how to connect using screen share on our channel. Well, let's take a look at this process one more time. So this, in this case, we're going to be using, we're going to be connecting to a dedicated environment using the provided IP address. So I'm just going to enter the IP address in here prepended by VNC colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address which we're going to then use to connect and we're going to use the username and password provided at the time of sign up in our welcome email sign in this will take us to our login page, which we'll use the same information again. And password to log in. So this is our first login. And during the first login, normally this process is done during the setup by our support team. But just to, just to show you what we're doing when we're doing the first login, first setup, of your environment. This is the process we go through. If there's ever an update on the OS, you may have to go through this little setup process. And we're just going to give you some of the optimized settings for your environment to ensure the best connectivity um, with your environment. So the first setup takes a, a couple of minutes to go through. As you can see right now, we're getting the spinning wheel here. Again, we go through this process uh, for you on the first setup. So you won't see this on your first login, but in uh, future logins after an update, you may see this. Okay, so first off, we have accessibility. We just skip through this. A lot of these things wouldn't matter anyways. Um, continue. Okay, so at this stage right now, if you're logging in, yourself you would sign you could sign in with your Apple ID be aware that if you sign in with your Apple ID your environment will be locked to that Apple ID and uh, if you're on a shared environment you won't be able to change the Apple ID if you're on a dedicated environment you could build a new account and set up another Apple ID but just be aware that once you sign in with an Apple ID on an account it's going to set, set it and make it difficult, if not impossible, to change. So here we're just going to do setup later. I'm going to skip setting up the Apple ID. I'm going to skip sharing analytics. Just continue with screen time. This is optional on a dedicated environment. In the shared environment, this is already preset. Can choose the look of your environment light dark or auto we'll just use it light and then this is the last little step here as it builds the in the uh, desktop and here we go we're in the desktop uh, okay so the first thing that we do when we're setting up an environment is change the desktop background so we go we do a right click, change the desktop background. You can also go to system preferences to do this. Going into desktop and screensaver. Right now it's set to the Monterey graphic dynamic. We're just going to change it to a solid color. And we do this in order to ensure the lowest latency 
on your connection. If you're using a background image, that can increase the latency of your connection. So unless you absolutely must have a background image, we recommend a solid color. We also don't require the screensaver. These are virtual environments. They don't need a screensaver. So we shut the screensaver off and then just switch it to message so that it's not in any of these resource intensive uh, screensavers. Occasionally the screensaver will be triggered even though we've turned it off. So we, we switch it to message so that it's a low resource intensive screensaver just in case it does get triggered. Okay, so that's that. And that's pretty much it. That gets us set up for the first, uh, first setup on a dedicated environment. Now if this was a shared environment we'd also um, possibly set up your screen time depending on the level of service that you have. So here you are in your service. Now let's move on to the next step which is how to remotely reboot your dedicated environment uh, in the case that it gets hung or you're unable to connect via screen share or no machine or whichever screen sharing app that you're using for your dedicated environment. So in order to do this, we're going to be using the terminal or command line. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect via, via secure shell protocol, so SSH, and then uh, your username. So in this case, username is test at, and then the uh, IP address of your environment. So just type in the IP address of the environment. Okay, and then uh, hit enter, this is going to connect us. The first time you connect, it's going to add a uh, SSH key uh, to your known hosts uh, local folder. And it just wants to confirm that this is the fingerprint for um, that particular environment. So we'll just say, we'll just type yes. Okay, so that's been added to known hosts. That's not something that happens every time. It happens the first time that you connect. Okay, so now we're connected. We have to enter our password. So again, using our password to connect via Secure Shell. Okay, now we are uh, logged in to our environment via Secure Shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform a remote reboot. So again, this would be if you're connecting uh, via terminal or console uh, from your Windows machine, Linux machine, Mac machine, remotely to your desktop environment, how could we perform a graceful reboot? This is only useful for dedicated environments because you're going to need admin access or sudo privileges in order to be able to run this command. And what we're going to run is sudo shut down dash r now. Okay, so the syntax is sudo space shut down space dash r space now. This is going to perform a remote reboot of your environment. Hit enter. It's going to ask for the password because you're running a sudo. So we're going to enter our password and then we're going to be informed that the system is going down immediately. You can see on our environment that the environment has lost its connection. It says reconnecting. It's in the process of being rebooted at this stage. So we'll just give it a moment while it pops back up. And we, as we can see, it's going back up. And now the environment is back up. And then at this stage, if you were unconnectable, you would test again to to connect, you should be able to connect again. That's our that's the most common um, problem that our dedicated plans have is that they lose connectivity. Some in some way, they've not they're no longer able to connect through screen sharing. And we recommend the first step to try and alleviate this issue is to connect via terminal and do a remote reboot uh, via command line. So there we go. That is our video today, how to set up your dedicated environment, first time setup, 
and also uh, how to remote reboot your dedicated environment if it becomes unconnectable via screen share. Thanks for joining us. Uh, hopefully have a great day and we'll be bringing you more of these tips and frequently asked questions in uh, future videos. Stay tuned and if you have any other questions about uh, any of these issues, please feel free to contact us via the support ticket system on the billing portal and uh, we'd be happy to help you with any of the issues that you may have. Have a great day.